Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and Zaya. Welcome to our Sunday night hair washing routine. This is the routine that I have been doing for the past several months now where I wash, detangle, and style Zaya's hair, get it clean, and get it looking cute for the following week of school. So just jumping straight into it, you can see that the first thing that I need to do is of course take her hair down from the previous hairstyle that it was in. And she did have her hair in these braids for a full seven days she was going swimming she was playing outside all types of stuff so honestly her hair has been through a lot this week and I'm using this ponytail elastic cutter that I got from Amazon if you guys saw my Amazon must-haves video I talked about this and I actually do highly recommend it it definitely makes it easy to cut out the little disposable rubber bands and just make taking down her hair a little bit easier so I'm just cutting out all of the rubber bands and undoing her braids she had two little braids that were feeding into two bigger braids so I'm taking everything down trying to be as gentle as possible but honestly sometimes her hair does get tangled up around the rubber bands and stuff like that so I just try to take my time with it and I always kind of like to finger comb and separate the hair out and remove any big knots as I go as you guys can see Zaya's hair is getting a lot thicker and a lot longer it's been a while since I've done one of these hair routine videos with her if you guys have not seen all the previous ones that I did definitely check them out so you can see how her hair has progressed ever since she was a little baby but yeah it's definitely a lot thicker and longer now so it does take a bit of time to just take it down and get it situated but something that has been helping me recently is this product that I more recently started using I think I talked about it in a previous vlog this is by just for me and they sent it to me in a PR package so I'm not sure which stores it's available at but you guys could definitely check online this is a pre-wash detangler gel and it sounds kind of gimmicky but it actually really works this is not sponsored or anything I've just been using this recently and I put it on her hair before I wash her hair just to start to finger comb through her hair and kind of start getting it detangled and it actually really helps Zaya was not too happy about having to get her hair washed but I tried to do anything I can to make it easier and faster on both of us so something else that I've been doing recently is just having her get into my shower and I will go in there with her to wash her hair it's just much easier on my back instead of leaning over the bathtub I've also tried doing it in the kitchen sink but I'm a little bit clumsy with that and that also requires your kitchen sink to be perfectly cleaned out which mine is not always honestly and her hair is honestly too long now for me to even do it in a bathtub because the ends of her hair trail down into the bath water and I don't really like all the recycled water going into her hair and then I can't really reach all of her hair because it's too long and I just don't like doing it in the bathtub she's getting too big for that and like I said doing it in the kitchen sink I just don't always have the sink prepped for that so this is just what has been working for me recently since I do have a larger shower so she's able to get in there and kind of like just lean her head back and get her hair rinsed normally it's more comfortable for her as well so of course I just wet her hair down and and I do the shampoo, making sure to really shampoo her scalp. And I'm actually using the same Just For Me line as that detangler that I just showed you. They have a shampoo, conditioner, and some other styling products within this line. I kind of bounce around in terms of what products I use on Zaya's hair. I'm not a huge stickler on products. I don't really have like holy grail products that I use. I mainly just look for things that are going to be very moisturizing things that are paraben free sulfate free have natural ingredients and stuff like that so I have a few things because I get sent PR a lot I'm always trying new things but yeah so just for right now I am using this just for me curly line and it worked out pretty well so I went ahead and shampooed like I said and then I make sure to rinse out the shampoo really really well and then moving on to conditioner again using that same just for me curly line 
online. My thing with conditioner is that I just use a ton of it. I don't care. I go through conditioner way faster than I go through shampoo. The more conditioner, the better, especially when it comes to detangling curly hair. And I always do everything in kind of a straight up and down motion. I don't scrunch up her hair. I don't ball it up on top of her head. I don't do anything to rough it up or cause any more knots. I'm doing everything in a downward motion the whole time so that I can make the detangling process as easy on myself as possible. So I'm putting a whole bunch of conditioner and then I start to go in with the wide tooth comb while the conditioner is still in. And if you guys have seen the previous hair routine videos I've done, this is basically kind of the same steps. It's just that her hair is longer now. I also have this special detangling brush that is meant to be used on textured hair and it actually does help a lot. I can link all of these products and stuff down below for you guys if you're interested, but I kind of just switch back and forth between different sizes of combs and brushes while the conditioner is still in her hair to detangle it. Of course, starting at the ends and working my way up and doing little sections at a time if needed. And then I always like to add some sort of additional deep conditioner or hair mask. So I grabbed one of my Carol's Daughter hair masks that I had in my shower and added that really focusing on her ends just to really amp up the moisture. Then I brushed that through her hair and let that sit for a few minutes and then I rinsed everything out. And like I said, this is what we do every Sunday evening. So this is the last thing that we do before going to bed. So I like to make sure that she's comfortable. She puts her jammies on after the shower and I usually have her sit in her playroom, turn the TV on, turn Netflix on, choose a movie or something like that to keep her entertained and comfortable. And I will sit behind her on the couch to get ready to actually style her hair. So again, I'm not a huge stickler on specific products. I bounce around between different styling products. I can link some of my favorites down below if you guys are interested. But the main thing that I always like to do is just make sure that her hair is still damp because it's gonna be the easiest to work with when it's damp. So I always keep just a regular spray bottle full of just plain water. And then I always like to add some sort of cream leave-in conditioner. And then I pretty much just brush through it one more time to make sure that it is fully detangled. And on top of that, I do also like to add some sort of hair serum or oil. And that's always like the first thing that I start with, no matter what kind of hairstyle I'm gonna be doing, just to make sure that her hair stays healthy and moisturized. Then from there, I will just basically start making up a hairstyle <laughs> just off the top of my head. Some days I'm really tired and really lazy and all I feel like doing is literally just two ponytails, two braids and keeping it super simple. Other days I start trying to get super creative and I start doing all these different parts and sections and stuff like that. So it just depends. On this day, I decided to do something kind of fun in the front and then keep the back kind of simple. But one thing that I do always try to do is at least have two braids, even better if I have four braids, even better if I have even more sections than that because I find the more sections that I put her hair in, and the more braids that I do, the better that her hair will actually last throughout the week and it won't get all matted and tangled and just super frizzy by the end of the week and just end up being a huge matted mess. The more that I let her hair loose and just let her curls be free, unfortunately, the more that it's just going to just mat up throughout the week because she is a rough and tumble girl, like I said, playing outside doing all types of crazy things. So in order to keep her hair controlled, I try to always put it in some sort of braided style. So as you just saw, I just started parting off the front of her hair. Again, I'm just freestyling, making things up as I go along. So since this is just a freestyle hairstyle, I'm just gonna kind of sit back and let you guys watch what I'm doing. Hopefully, if you do want to recreate something like this, you can just learn by watching because honestly, I don't even know how to explain it.
Okay, so now that I've got the front of her hair all styled and braided up, I debated on just putting the back of her hair into a loose ponytail, but then I remembered that it's always gonna be better if there is more braids. So I decided to split it into two sections and braid those two sections, again, trying to keep her hair as controlled as possible. And then I ended up deciding to take the little braids from the front of her hair and wrapping them around the braids in the back of her hair just to add some more interest to the hairstyle again just making stuff up Now that her hair is all braided and everything is connected, the last little finishing touch is just to take some gel on this little edge brush, which you can also get on Amazon, and just smooth down her little baby hairs and polish off the hairstyle, and this is the finished look. So she will go to sleep like this Sunday night, wake up Monday morning with a fresh hairstyle to wear to school, and it'll be looking pretty good for about two days. Then of course it is gonna start frizzing up, so then I will just touch it up throughout the week by spritzing it down maybe adding a little bit more product and maybe redoing the front sections and trying to make it last all the way until the next Sunday when we will do this all over again. 